All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the Oda Pro NT21. This was sent to me by the guys at Oda Pro to review. And I tell you, I was pretty impressed with what all it comes with. Um, a very simple set of directions with a diagram. Diagrams are super helpful to me. Like I prefer diagrams and a little reminder that there is a safety lock that if you have it turned off for greater than a minute, it will auto lock so you don't have to worry about it coming on when not intentional. In general, uh, let's talk about what it comes with because I was, like I said, pleasantly surprised. I mean, most things come with a charging cable and this has a magnetic charge. It is um, proprietary. A holster, which not a lot of flashlights come with these days, but we've got a Velcro and a snap oh, there. So if you want to put it on a belt, pack, parcel, or whatever. And it's not a bad, uh, there we go. It's not a bad um, holster for, for the cash. And you'll notice there's a battery. What's interesting, oh, and we also have the full manual, more O-rings, product warranty, all the goodies. So, you know, this is a fully featured light. It comes with all of the things that you would want, uh, including spares and but the one thing that i was very surprised with that this shipped not with a, a battery in it but when i opened the packaging there were two batteries so this comes with not just the battery it goes with but a whole nother battery and i know some people aren't so worried about removable batteries but if you're one of those people who wants an 18650 so it's swappable Oda Pro doesn't just send you one, they send you two along with everything else. So pretty neat in that regard. I was really impressed. And when it comes to the modes themselves on the light, let's talk about that. So in the flashlight itself, the switch here is a multifunction switch. And if we turn it on and then hold it down, it cycles through low, medium, high, and turbo. So you can pick what, what output you want and then if you turn it off from there, when you turn it back on, it remembers that mode. So if you just want to leave it in low, good to go. And you'll notice that it's green around the bezel here. That is an indicator of how much charge when you turn it on. It, it comes on for just a little bit. Um, you can know when it's time to recharge the battery or not. So something to consider. If you double tap, it goes to strobe. And then a single tap takes it back. And then once again, like I said, you just cycle through the modes. So very, very easy to access all of the modes. Uh, I don't love strobe, but if you're like a strobe kid, they got you. And then a single tap turns it off. I measured the peak output. The claimed output max is 1200 lumens. When I measured it, it easily exceeded that. It was somewhere around 1210 lumens. And the candela was impressive. There's no claimed candela in the manual, but it was close to 200K. So this thing has throw. Like if you're running it outdoors and you need to see distance in the higher modes, this thing is going to deliver. So I was very impressed with that. And the price is right. The amount of material you get in terms of spare batteries, all the other goodies, it's there. So um, God love Oda Pro. Like they, uh, they kind of really impressed me off the jump. If you need an outdoor light uh, or a general purpose light. Now, one thing I will tell you is the crenellations around the bezel. They are a little bit sharp, like not so sharp that I'm worried it's going to cut me, but I would worry about it in a pocket. So that may be a one caution for you. But that aside, you know, for what it is, it's not a bad little light um, pocket clip, obviously. Um, the magnetic charging thing works pretty well. If you're not into using a proprietary charger, anything that's going to charge an 18650 will charge these batteries. So if you've got a separate charger, then they got you there. That's, that's not going to be a problem. Like I said, beam shots to follow. I'll show you what this thing does indoors and outdoors. All right, outdoor beam shots for the Oda Pro NT21. When I first turn it on, let's see, hold, let me hold it down here. It's on the lockout. Okay, let's see. Let's go to low. So there's low. You can see it on the fence, the tree line. You can see it a little bit. That's about 20 yards out. Next up, I think that might have been moonlight, but the second setting, 
we can start to see it pretty good. Third setting, a lot of spill with this one's a very bright and broad beam, plenty of lumens. Next up, now I'm really getting a lot of light. So, and like I said, really broad. This is good for searching. I think it's gonna have good throw, but it's not gonna be crazy throw. So, let me cycle through them all again. There we go. Low, or super low, low, medium, and high. So there is the Oda Pro NT21. All right, the Oda Pro NT21, this is the low mode. Still a lot of usable light for most circumstances. And if I step it up one, I'm starting to see some distance. This light, while it's low in, or lower in lumen output, is really good in terms of candela. And then if I go up a mode, now I'm really starting to see the street sign out there, the stop sign, it's about 180 yards out there. And then the real high mode, all 1200 lumens, really, really good. It's like broad, but still got a good spot. So I, I am liking this light quite a bit. Okay, so after spending quite a bit of time with the Oda Pro NT21, I have a lot of thoughts. In general, I like this light, and the things I like about it are as follows. One, the claimed outputs are spot on. So many manufacturers these days give really inflated claims about what their light will do in terms of output, and it is refreshing to see somebody give actual numbers that are not... Uh, fantasy based. These outputs are solid. They are spot on. What I also like is despite the fact that it doesn't have a million lumens coming out the front, the candela is high. I can get a very distant bright spot out of this light. Uh, I don't know if you look back to the outdoor lighting, I was very easily seeing things over 180 yards away. My ability to get distance and film it any much further than that is really not there, but their claims of how much distance you can get, I wanna say close to 300 yards, I'm inclined to believe it. Uh, this light delivers the goods in that regard. It coming with two batteries is also something that I very much appreciated. A lot of people aren't necessarily worried about swappability of batteries. That is a factor for some, and having a spare battery that you can have backed up and charged is no small thing. So for the price, including that spare battery, is very appreciated. The single button control the, with the lockout so that you have the lockout when it's not used for a while, keeps it from getting uh, discharged by accident in pocket, pouch, or pack, and I approve of that because as somebody who has uh, experienced the hot pocket, you know, having the lockout where you have to hold it for a minute before you get the light, that is legit being able to readily cycle through the modes. I also appreciate without having to read 20 different things like how do I do this, but through that single multifunction switch is also super appreciated. I don't necessarily need the strobe, but for those of you who want it, having the uh, quick access to that strobe is legit as well. I like the light around the button that tells me how much charge I have left in this thing, and it's very easy to see. I don't have to guess. I've seen some lights that had some flashing pattern that gives you, um, with X number of flashes, you know how much voltage. Too complicated, my uh, very simple brain doesn't like that. Green being good to go and it shifting down into red when it's time to charge, easy, easy day. Things that I'm on the fence about and you may like or dislike depending on your needs. The bezel with the crenellations around it, for my uses, I don't love it. I think some people might appreciate it in a self-defense scenario. So I'm not saying that it is a downside for everybody, but it's a user kind of you appreciate it or you don't, but just be aware of that feature. The pocket clip, by the way, I forgot to mention, I like it, but it is not reversible, I don't think. No, actually I lied, I think it is reversible. So if you need a pocket clip, it's definitely there. The tail stand ability of this light, I like quite a bit. Sometimes I just want area lighting and that is helpful in that regard. The proprietary charging, I think some people are going to like or dislike depending on your uses. If you don't mind that proprietary charging and the magnetic, it's actually really easy. You don't have to open a port or do any fiddling to get to it. So it's very quick to get on the charger. If you lose that charger, however, you're kind of screwed and then you're gonna to have to charge your battery some other way, which is doable, but just be aware that proprietary magnetic charging you may love or you may hate. 
Uh, I don't think there's really any massive downsides to this light. In general, I think for the price, the size, and what you get, I'm really appreciative of it. And so if this fits your needs, guys, I think that it's gonna be a solid light. In general, guys, I, uh, I think this fits into my lighting capacity much in my garage, outdoors, shop, and dog walking. I think that's where I'm going to be using it. I very much like it. Oda Pro, guys, uh, actually the Oda Pro shop on Amazon's who sent me this. Thank you very much for the opportunity to review this light. And for those of you who've watched this video, if you like gear reviews, if you like flashlights, knives, uh, other health-related things, which I sometimes play with, and the occasional firearms review, I would definitely appreciate a subscription if you want more of those things, and it definitely helps out the channel for you to subscribe and like my videos. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Take care. Stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Get him, Jay.